Coach, uh, how did you see the chase? Like they, this is one of the highest chases in this ground. Successful chase. How, how did you rate it? Uh, I think it was a roller coaster ride because we didn't have the best of the, uh, I mean, best of the starts. But uh, the, from the, uh, for the fourth ticket, I think we had a brilliant partnership uh, with Patum and uh, Charit. Uh, unfortunately, they couldn't uh, finish the game, but uh, they batted extremely well. Um, we saw that there was a lot of dew. The first two matches were decided almost by the toss, in a way. Do you think that's good for cricket in the I think comparing to the other day, today there was less uh, due. Because uh, I can remember the first game, even when we were starting bowling from the bowl one, there was due. But today actually it came later on. Uh, but I, I know it's, it's a factor to uh, discuss. But uh, anyway, now it's 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a day game. So I think our boys are pretty much up for it. How would you assess uh, the two knocks? I mean, this one has obviously scored the 100, but Chaita Salanka showed good form in the, in the T20 as well. So how would you describe their knocks? Actually, these two batsmen, uh, they were in good form right throughout, I mean, for the last couple of months. They have been scoring consistently, especially Patum Nisanka top of the order. He got a double 100 against uh, Afghanistan recently and followed by another 100 another 100 today as well. So he has been very consistent and he's, uh, I think, gradually he's becoming a more mature player. What, what do you see when, you, when the two look better like Patum and Asalanka, both play similar brand of cricket, but both last last two plays close. What, 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 what is the plan actually when they go out to create a partnership? I mean, both batsmen comes hit at the same time. How do you see this? Yeah, it's, it's all about uh, assessing the conditions and the situation as well. Uh, these two guys, generally, they are very calm. So uh, they get gathered a lot of information from out as well. So, uh, and very good buddies, both of them. They're always together. So they know uh, what their capabilities. So I think that's the key thing. And what do you say about the last game? Because the last game, it won't be there, there won't be any due because it's a day game. So both the teams will have similar conditions. Yeah, uh, interesting because uh, the same thing happened uh, in the T20s as well. So uh, we knew when we started the series it's going to be a day game. So uh, we have a little bit, uh, I mean, there are things that we can discuss and still improve. So we're going to have a review meeting tomorrow and uh, discuss about it. Uh, Sri Lanka dropped three catches and one of us talking with six. Is there a slight concern about the outfield and, you know, uh, feeling the deep and the catches that went down? Is there a problem? Uh, of course, yes. Uh, we have to take those catches and also I'm sure that they drop a few catches as well. Yeah. So the, that's what I uh, told earlier from bowling, batting and fielding uh, from the all three departments, uh, there are uh, areas that we can still improve. I'm sure that uh, we haven't played our A game yet, so most probably they will play better cricket uh, in the third one day. So last one. Uh, Sri Lanka obviously, uh, like many teams after they've known make it to the same final for the World Cup, they're rebuilding for the next four years. And uh, do you think guys like Patron and Chad, they are the like the like the solid guys that you're going to take through with? You know, Tusal also scoring runs sometimes, and then you have. Sabira also. I mean, is this the fourth batting lineup for Sri Lanka going forward? Never know because it, we have about good uh, three years to yeah. go for the next World Cup, uh, 50 over World Cup. But I'm sure selectors have a plan because uh, if you are planning properly, so then at least for the uh, next World Cup, we have about good four or five players who played at least 100 games. Yeah. So, which was, I think, uh, which didn't happen the last World Cup. So we need the experienced players, so as long as they get uh, exposure, so they'll do better. And what does Asalanka bring in this team? Because he knows how to bat. As far as the balance is concerned, how when Asalanka comes in, how does that help as far as? Yeah, on and off he might have a bad day or something like that, but unfortunately he's a uh, fighter. He likes to take wickets and even in the field, he, try to do 
something to uh, for the team. Uh, same same with him when he's going going to bat as well. So he wants to uh, score runs uh, because he wants to become a good all rounder in the future as well. Do you see that potential in him? Obviously, yes. He has been doing really well in the T20s. Now is the time to do in the 50 over format as well. And do you think that he is a more, more he played more T20s? So when he comes to the 50 over format, what are the changes that you would like to see him as a batsman? As a batsman, I think pretty obviously he has to bat longer uh, because in T20 he might can change a game in four or five balls, but he has to bat long. And uh, my, I, I always uh, tell them to finish games. So we didn't do that today because I, I was expecting Patum and Charit to finish the game. Then I thought Wani will do that, but it didn't happen. So those are the areas that we have to discuss uh, really hard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.